In this reaction, we have sodium plus sodium hydroxide. So let's add the atoms up on each side and balance the equation. We have one sodium here, plus we have one sodium here. So we have two sodiums. Make sure you count both of those, one oxygen and one hydrogen. On the product side, we have two sodiums, one oxygen, and the two hydrogen atoms. So why don't we start, everything's the same except the hydrogens. Let's balance the hydrogens by putting a two in front of the sodium hydroxide. So we have one hydrogen times two. This two applies to everything here. So one times two, that'll give us two hydrogen. Those are balanced. One oxygen times two. We have two oxygen atoms. And then let's update the sodiums. So we have our one sodium here plus our one times two. So that gives us three sodium atoms. Let's update the oxygens here so those are balanced and see if that changes things a little bit. We have two here and one here, so we'll put a two in front of the Na2O. So now we have oxygens, one times two. Gives us two of those and they're balanced. Sodiums, two times two. That gives us four. So we're almost there with the sodiums. We just need one more sodium on the reactant side. What we can do is put a coefficient of two in front of the sodium here. Let's see how that changes things. So now I have one times two, I have two sodiums plus one times two, two sodiums. So I have four sodium atoms. And now the sodiums are balanced. Everything else is balanced. We're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for sodium plus sodium hydroxide, Na plus NaOH. Thanks for watching.